There's nothing better than an amazing friend. But on the flip side, there's nothing worse than thinking somebody's your friend when they're not. What's up, gentlemen? So today's video is actually inspired by something that happened to me the other day. I got stabbed in the back by somebody that I thought was my friend. You know, looking back now at some of the warning signs that we're going to talk about today, you know, I should have realized earlier on that, that the dude wasn't my friend. But it sucks. It sucks when you realize that you've invested time and energy into a friendship only to find out that they're not really your friend. Guys, I consider each and every one of you my friend. Even though I've never technically met most of you, I feel like I feel like we're friends. And I hope you feel the same way about me. Guys, if you do, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, I do consider you a friend. Guys, today in an attempt to help you not have to deal with what I just had to deal with, I'm going over seven signs somebody's a fake friend. The first sign that somebody is a fake friend is what I call an ask hole. Not an a-hole, an ask hole. They are somebody in your life that is always asking you for advice, right? They are always dumping their emotional baggage all over you, right? They're like, hey, what should I do? You tell them and they never take your advice. These people are typically like humongous disasters and it seems like they can never get out of their own way and they're always making like super bad decisions. It's like, there they are standing on the train track, right? Everybody, including you, is like, yo, Brian, get off the train, 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 train. Tell them, yo, get off, don't train. Oh my God, come on, right? And they're like, duh, what? You spend your time, your valuable energy, your emotional like interest in them only to have them like totally do like a 180 and not take your advice. Guys, the truth is we have limited resources in terms of emotional bandwidth, time in our day. And if there's somebody that's wasting yours, they're not your friend. They're also not your friend if they do the second thing, which is talk or gossip behind your back. And this is what happened to me recently. Um, I got a call from another one of my actual real friends. It was like, yo, dude, uh, just so you know what's going on, I found out that one of my, who I thought was like a pretty decent friend, was actually like talking trash about me behind my back. So I ended up calling the person and confronting him. Said, hey, uh, I heard that you were talking and saying this to, you know, so-and-so. And they're like, me? Oh, no, I didn't. I swear, I, I'm not lying. 100% he was lying. And, um, and that's it. I'm done, like seriously. And, and the crazy thing is that this isn't the first time that I have had something with this person sort of affect me. And it isn't the first like warning sign. But at this point, if I keep this person in my life as a friend, I'm the idiot. And so, I'm done. Gentlemen, if there are people in your life that you have found out or that you hear are talking trash about you or gossiping about you behind your back, they're not your friend. The third sign somebody is a fake ass friend is that they're not excited or proud or happy for you when you succeed. Oh, Jimmy, guess what? I just got the number of that spicy ass Sydney Reed Jadison accounting. Oh my God, I love her. A real friend be like, yeah, Jimmy, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I can't wait. You're the man. I can't wait. You gotta tell me everything. But a fake ass friend be like, dude, she's not, she's not that, she's not that spicy. Make friends with people that want the best for you. If that sounds familiar, that's actually the third rule in Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. Rule number four is another one of my personal favorites, which is compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who somebody else is today. Do, do, do you get that, right? Compare yourself to who you, you, were yesterday, not to somebody else who they are today. This book literally will change your life and your perspective, and that's probably the most important thing. The other day when this happened to me, in terms of my friend stabbing me in the back, I thought about Jordan's like third rule of, you need to be friends with people that want the best for you. And it made me think about this audiobook and something that I needed to recommend to you. Guys, Audible is today's video sponsor. So most of you have probably heard of Audible before. I've talked about them, and honestly, they have been one of the biggest game changers for me. I do not personally like to sit there and read a book, but what I love to do is listen. And Audible allows me to listen when I'm on the go, in the car, when I'm doing cardio. And guys, I'm telling you, if you are looking for a book that will literally change your life, you gotta hit that link down below and go grab an Audible Plus membership today. So with an Audible Plus membership, guys, you have access to the entire Plus category, which comes with a crap ton, like thousands of Audible originals, audiobooks, and podcasts, not to mention, like exclusive series and the crazy thing guys is that right now with the holiday offer they are offering you six months of audible plus for four dollars and 95 cents a month if 
you hit our link down below, audible.com slash alpha M, or you can text the word alpha M to 500 500. So the reason why I love Audible Plus so much is that it allows like users more opportunities to actually explore and to learn and find new favorites, not to mention the new stuff that Audible Plus has given you is ridiculous. Guys, right now, get started today. This holiday deal is incredible. So for literally less than $5 a month, $4.95 a month for the first six months, Audible Plus is going to connect you with a ton of incredible content that it's going to inspire you, inform you, not to mention entertain you. And guys, they've even got things like guided like fitness and meditation programs. I'm telling you, it is like next level stuff. And once again, it's the same old great Audible. So if you are looking to listen to an incredible audiobook, guys, The 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson is a must. It literally will change your life and your perspective. Guys, get started today. Hit that link down below, audible.com slash alpha M, or text the word alpha M to 500, 500 to get started today and grab the deal. $4.95 a month for the first six months. After that, guys, regular price is only like $7.95. It's still crazy affordable, but hey, if you can save some cash, now is the time. The links down below are how to do it. The fourth sign that somebody is a fake ass friend is that they freak out out whenever you call them on their bullshit. They're behaving badly, right? And you're like, yo, you probably shouldn't do this, or hey, you might not want to say that, right? You say that, and they freak out, and they yell at you, and they get all mad, and sometimes they like won't talk to you for a little while, gentlemen. Here's the deal. If somebody is your friend, right, they should be able to handle constructive feedback and criticism. And we can give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Like, it's not always easy to hear that you're doing something or when somebody points out that you're doing something wrong, right? Like, like I get it. But if they get, like, super pissed and crazy and mad at you when you actually do as opposed to being able to be like, yo, all right, you're my friend and I respect your opinion and so I probably should look at myself and make sure that I'm not actually, you're right, I'm an idiot. But you also shouldn't do the fifth thing, which is another sign of you having fake friends, which is having to walk on eggshells. Gentlemen, do you have people in your life that you can't actually be honest with because it hurts their feelings, they get all mad, they get all pissed? Gentlemen, you should not have to walk on eggshells around your friends. Spicy senoritas? Yeah, I'm kidding. You shouldn't have to walk on eggshells around them either. Gentlemen, the fact is you should not have people in your life that you cannot be honest with, that you feel like super uncomfortable being around. If you're a good friend, you need to tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, because the truth is sometimes they are different. The sixth sign that somebody's not really your friend. They're a fake friend, gentlemen, if you only hear from them when they need something. Yo, Brian, yeah, man, I know, I know. It's been like seven months. You're doing good? Okay, hey, hey, so, so, so I need a ride. <laughs> what? Gentlemen, the fact is, if there is somebody that is truly your friend, friend, they are there, they are engaging with you on a regular basis. Now, this doesn't mean that if you don't talk to somebody for like months at a time that they're not like a good friend. I've got some friends that we literally talk once or twice a year. That's just the type of friend they are. It doesn't mean they're a bad friend, it just means that our relationship, we don't talk all the time. But when we do talk, they're not calling because they need money. These are the people that like when the phone rings, you're like, oh God, <laughs> what do they need now? Or what do they screw up, right? Not just like, oh cool, it's so-and-so. Gentlemen, you need to have more people in your life like, oh cool, it's so-and-so. And last but certainly not least, probably should be first, the seventh sign that somebody is a fake-ass friend and they're not worth your time is they don't have your back. They don't stand up for you. If somebody is truly your friend, they've got your back. They'll stand by your side. They will defend you when somebody's talking trash. And it doesn't even matter if you're not like 100% right technically all the time. They're your boys. They're your friends. And so they are going to defend you even if you might be a little bit wrong and then you'd work it out later because they have the ability to tell you and criticize you when you act like an idiot, which is another thing that friends do. Gentlemen, you are amazing. You're also my friend. And that's something that I, I just want you to know. I consider each and every one of you my friend. Even people that drop like thumbs down on the video, I consider you my friends because you're just giving me some feedback. And I'm not too like, oh my God, I can't believe it, right type of friend to be like, I can't believe it, right? You're entitled to your opinion. And sometimes if you're dropping some of these, right, I gotta think like, why are they dropping these? Because I consider you my friend. Gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to call you that. I hope you consider me your friend because honestly, the reason why I do these videos is to help you be better. And sometimes I gotta tell you the hard truth. Sometimes I gotta tell you things you might not wanna hear, but it's my job as your friend to tell you what you need to hear.